Hey, January 23rd, Hercules Bees. We're showing off the first two overwintered colonies for sale in 2016. These are treatment-free colonies, and they are going to boom population-wise, provide lots of spring honey and splits. I took off the first two brood combs to get this inspection started. And these first two brood combs are full of honey. Um, this colony has a lot of resources and will be sold at 10 top bars in strength. Top bars being a mix of honey, pollen, bees, and brood. Three top, or 10 top bars in strength. Top bar three continues the honey. And on top bar four, that's where things start to get interesting. We noticed increased bee population. And the camera can't see it, but I'll tell you that they have freshly laid, laid eggs on top bar four. Top bar five is also full of eggs and young, young larvae. They're planning their expansion here. The bee coverage is good. Remember, this is January, so by February, the population in this hive will be doubled. Every 21 days is a brood cycle. Here on top bar six, we see lots of capped brood. This colony is going to emerge strong. They've got good bees to keep the brood warm. We've seen the evidence that the queen is doing well, laying out a good pattern. Um, California winters, there's ample honey and pollen supply, pollen coming from mustard, coming from the early blooming eucalyptus. Um, I'm not sure if there's many willow trees in Manteca, but I know there are lots of willows in the Bay Area. And bar number seven, another good brood. Another good brood comb. Okay. And we'll go through all ten bars so you can really see what's going on in this bee colony. The eggs are not on this comb yet, but you can see by the way that they're, they're making the circle and the honey there, that that will become a brood nest. So they got their spherical pattern, they're going to put in a, a layer of pollen, and then this is going to be bees. Those cells are sized for worker bees. Bees in my face. And then, ugh. Here's bar number nine, lots, lots of honey, lots of resources. And if the camera would zoom in on, brood, on bar number 10, this colony is, sold, is going to be sold with 40, 30, 40 pounds of honey on it. That's gonna ensure it grows healthy during the season. Uh, I'm asking probably about $30 per top bar of strength. So the bees will sell for 300 box will sell for 205. Let's take a look at number two. Sometimes the bees fly in my glasses. Okay, so this is um, colony number two for sale uh, beginning in February. Uh, when we can arrange uh, delivery to various locations. Um, again, I'm going to go through 10 top bars to show you the 10 top bar colony that is for sale. Um, these bees are treatment-free colonies with overwintered queens. Uh, let's see, this hive is a little bit of a condensation problem, so that first bar is a little wet. I'll sell this colony with 10 drawn comb. That first bar won't be part of the sale. Okay, but we have we have honey resources on both sides. Um, this colony, I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to release the price yet. These first two combs were a little wet with um, some moisture making the pollen mold. Given time, when the bees grow out of that, they'll clean it all up. And, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's look at bar number four. Uh, another resource comb. 
cell size for workers. This colony is, I'm just going to skip ahead. This colony brood nest is towards the back of the hive. But we're seeing lots of resources on the comb. This one is full of pollen and honey. The bees are bringing in mustard. Um, all the first winter weeds to go on in California. Okay, here we're getting to the brood nest. Here's the good stuff. So what I'd like to point out is the bee coverage on the comb. This is a good indicator of their health. This comb is... All this capped brood is going to hatch out within 10 days. Again, it's going to double the population of this colony. Very tight pattern. We can have good evidence that the queen is working well here. They're bringing in enough food to uh, keep everything warm and developing right. Bee coverage is awesome, again, on the second comb. And the bees are flying, so one third of them are out foraging in the field, bringing back more food. I'm standing right in front of their entrance, they probably all want to go back in. Um, even in the combs that are, I'm sorry, even in the cells that are empty on this comb, it's filled with developing larvae of all ages. So the queen is really going back and filling anything any open space. They're trying to maintain that tight cluster for efficiency and keeping warm. As these colonies have overwintered, they are going to explode in March and April um, in population, explode in population. They'll make some honey, they'll swarm, so when you buy one of these colonies you should be prepared to split it and get more colonies from the first investment. Uh, this box is literally a year ahead in development over buying a package of bees. So you're going to get a lot of value for your, for your purchase here. This is a strong food comb. And Her Royal Highness is, my finger is next to her, she's like, what is this finger thing? And she's checking it all out. Um, she roams around a lot. I see a few eggs in the lower portion here. A ring of pollen is being developed, so this is going to be another brood comb. It's dripping with nectar, ripe honey on top. And again, another food colony, or uh, food top bar. And that's where their cluster ends. Um, they're they're going to come out strong. Again, um, these colonies will be sold with 10 top bars, fully drawn top bars, full of either honey, pollen, or bees and brood. So you're going to get value for your money. You're going to see it expand. Um, by May, this box will occupy a big one, or else it'll swarm too much. Um, I hope you send me questions about these about these colonies and maybe you'll take one of them home. Thanks for watching.